Huge problem in Season of Discovery. I'm actually going to go back and play Sod whenever the uh, the experience buff drops. It drops in like three days, right? This is what I mean. I was in trade chat yeah. for the longest time. Oh, and he's got I was trying to get into uh, Nomer. I was spamming. I was like, I have epic uh, gun from BFD. Yeah. I have six out of six experience. I raid lead it, blah, 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 blah. And at some point, there was one guy, uh, and he was considering taking me. He's like, have you cleared it on your main? I was like, yes. He's like, what's your man's name? I was like, number two. He's like, uh-huh, you're a mage. He's like, do you mm -hmm. pump? I was like, well, I did it as a healer, but I pump, yes. He's like, mm-hmm, okay. Um, what uh, spec are you going to play? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is the Nomergon raid even hard enough that this is required? No? Yeah, sorry, we can't take you, you know? Like, it was like a, yeah. like a job interview kind of thing. Naturally. Uh, so at, at that point, I just got fed up. And I was like, you know what, Chad? Let's just make our own yeah, no yeah. more group. Because I That's saw what a bunch of people do. spamming in That's trade smart. chat as well. That they were looking Always for a make group. Your own and group. they were all yeah. playing Rogue and Warrior. That way you can ninja um, the loot. You know, it's just like... You change the loot rules in the middle like, of the raid. After trying to get into too many groups where... Don't like, tell anybody. Like, yeah, show me your logs. It's a surprise. Show me your gear score. Show me this. Show me your, uh, you know, your bank account. Um, so we made our own group. Yeah. And I made a group with the garbage. I'm telling you guys, the worst of the worst the scum of Azeroth, the yeah. outcasts, the people that no one wants to play with, all the people in trade chat who are spamming. I, want, I, I know how the ending of this goes. They one-shot every boss and everything was fine and it was no problem because it's classic WoW. Day in and day out and getting zero responses. My people. Yeah, I decided I'm going to make a group with them. I'm gonna make a group with them, and we're not gonna go on Discord, and I'm not gonna ask for gear score, uh -huh. and we're not gonna check their logs, and I'm not gonna ask them if they have six out of six and all these other bullshit requirements, and we're just gonna go in and blast. Just kill the boss, yeah. And that's what we did. There's so much spam, bro. It's insane. Like, how do you filter through this, bro, if you don't have add ons? Uh, six out of six XP. They need to just, like, I'm going to give an unpopular opinion, and obviously I'm not really playing the game a lot, so, like, maybe this is from an outside perspective, but I wish that they would have just the notice board that Retail WoW has. Like, not LFD or LFR, but, like, a place where you can list your group and other people can join your group. I think it's stupid that they don't have that. Like, really, just, just, have, just have the system that that retail wow has it's so simple it's so easy you just do that and that way you don't have trade chat fill up with all this spam it's an add-on well like that's again like you know what i'm saying like that's another example quest board it yeah and i think that in classic wow you should have to interact with a quest board in order to use it i know this might be an unpopular opinion but i think that giving people the reason to be in town and be in the city is very important and you should have different quest boards maybe in different cities and different areas that you can interact with to find groups like a bounty board yeah and that's all you need to do i like that idea yeah i talked with s fan about it and that's what he thought and i thought he had a good idea with that hunter full bis consume and what buff we get into a good group and leech man like yeah. this. it's just everyone's just looking for healers bro i'm spamming everyone dude <laughs> milkman come on milkman bro come on he's gotta be the jesus milkman. man he's the just spam that sucks no more xp six out of six did it twice as raid lead on my character number two i'm ranged <laughs> fuck man this guy's asking a lot of questions i'm bm spec Come on, bro. BM is good. Nah, he's not going to take us, bro. He wants a melee hunt. They're like pumps, man. Oh, my God. I just... Bro, is it really this bad? You can't even play the game? Oh, my God. People are scared to be locked out. Why don't they just make it to where, like, you can just be loot locked? So are you locked to, like, a raid ID? Or are you locked to a boss? Why are there raid IDs? Like, we have healing mages.
I don't want to hear about, oh, because it's classic WoW. There's mages to heal. Warlocks tank. They're needed. Science isn't there yet. Yeah, they... People complaining, go to retail instead. People complaining, go to classic instead. Go to era instead. You understand you can make the exact same argument? I, I, I don't, I, I just, I don't get, it. like, why, why, why is it like this? Like, it's just so, what the fuck? And he's the one of those shit BM hunter, man. What? The, that's so stupid. <laughs> he's checking my logs and shit, man. And do you remember what I said before about how every bad system in the video, every bad player behavior is the fault of the developers? Every single bad, I, I, I firmly believe that every bad player behavior and every bad trend that players have is the developer's fault. When you punish players for making mistakes, players will work harder to avoid being punished. And if you are punished for making a mistake by inviting the wrong person, then players will be even more restrictive in who they invite. So this entire system that Zico is dealing with right now is completely engineered and created by Blizzard. They have made this problem. Blizzard created this problem. This isn't the community's fault. The community is adapting and responding to the incentives and rewards that Blizzard has created within their own game. Dude, what is this a job interview, man? How hard is it to get into a group, man? Honestly, retail isn't even the sweaty. Dude, this is insane. I cannot get in. It's impossible. Back in the day, I would always message people with literally almost nothing. I would be like, invite, it's me. You know, or invite, I've got all the gear. I'm Biss. And like, I would get invited all the time. And this is before I was a streamer. It's impossible to get in, chat. He says, no, sorry. He says, good luck finding group. Okay. <laughs> the milkman is not taking us, boys. Dude, I cannot believe we, we can't get in. Yeah, I'm not like the other girls. Yeah, that's a good one. Own group. But then we need to find tank and healer. And if we don't find tank and hitter, it's mm -hmm. GG. Make, to make our own group and invite this guy, for example. Yeah, that's what you need to do. <laughs> Look at this guy. LFG, LFG Nomer. Nomer. Nine out of nine mythic retail raider. Look at the dude. They're not inviting him because of, like, discrimination. Holy shit, man. He's probably it's a scaly. Voice. There's no Nomer happening. I'm telling you, Chad, if we don't make our own group, there's no way we get in. I'm making a Nomer. That's so sad. Plus plus that's LFG actually Nomer. so sad. Uh, all right, this guy says LFG Nomer. Rogue DPS world buff consumed six out of six. We'll so him. he's not even inviting out of his stream. He's just inviting randoms. This is gonna be interesting. Maybe yeah, he invited some out of his stream. Stuffed, Probably half and half. This is trade chats. This is this is the biggest rejects in the entire game right now. We yeah. are the rejects of trade chat. Nobody wanted us, and from the sewers we emerged. Where's my DPS? Two hundred is not bad. This is gonna be a complete shit show, by the way. Why are they? Oh, I see. Okay. We did it. Wait, we killed the boss. Good job. My tank's pumping. Yeah, my tank is actually owning. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but I thought. <laughs> no, that's what you want to hear. But yeah. He's definitely farming. Right? Yeah. I'm focusing on the boss. Dude. So this is just ads. a random group? Good job. Ooh, we got the dagger. Ooh, zero is on the fire. Damn. Toxic Holy Revenger. Holy shit. Holy shit. This boys. is crazy. So there like, it is. Yeah, there point, it move is. It. yeah, so you guys can see the item. Holy oh, shit. Fuck, it got the, emoted. the tank deserves it. They should give it what to him. What if we actually get items? What if we like we actually get an item? I'll move to it. it. Wait, we got we got an item. We got it was just the epic shoulders. dagger. This could be, but this could be first class run. Uh, this could be like the run where everything drops. Ooh, that does not look good. That does not look What ideal. an idiot. You see him just get knocked off? See? <laughs> see, if Zico had checked his, uh, his LinkedIn, his Raider IO, his ancestry report to make sure that he doesn't have, you know, like a any Dumbos and like his, in his, uh, you know, family tree. Uh, make sure that, you know, like, this guy's been playing the game since, like, actually vanilla WoW. Like, that he probably wouldn't have gotten knocked off. Uh-oh, they're spinning. The five years they're of spinning. experience raiding this raid that's been out for two I've months. I've never seen this. Or two is, weeks. Is, this, is there an enrage timer? Is everyone just getting yeeted? Look at my GPS, dude. Holy shit, I almost got yeeted. Uh-oh. Oh, my pets, my cities are up. 
My friend told us this. That's it. Come on, something good. Something Easy. good. Oh. Holy That's shit. really good. Bro, this raid has been so clean so far, man. So they're just clearing all the bosses without struggling at all, even though they brought in random people? I forgot to put Hunter's Mark on this boss. That's crazy. Just move away from the stuff. It's not hard. Full randoms from Trade Shot. Uh oh. Move away from me, man. Holy hell, I bothered. Oh, God. Come closer, bro. He fucked himself. Bro. Stack on your mark. Like what? Where's he here? Jesus. The DPS is mid at least. Still I clearing. DC'd. I mean, if you're... Like, this is my perspective. Like, I view doing the raid... Like, this is a big problem that a lot of people have with, like, their mindset for doing raids. Is that... Like, they don't calculate in the amount of time that it takes to make the raid. And if you can make a raid really fast with people that you're going to wipe a couple of times with, you will probably, at the end of the day, spend less time in the process of doing the raid. That's why usually I'll just invite the first person. Yeah. Especially if it's something like this. Why not just have Thank a group God. finder? Thank God. Give me that little explosive trap here for the Yeah, boards. this is my first time actually seeing the new Give raid. Explosive trap, dude. Holy Seems hell. like a lot going on here. I'm assuming this is probably the uh, this second to last boss, seems like. I don't know. It's like a, a council medics. fight. LFR mechanics, yeah. New raid's a lot of fun. I'll try it out. I've been thinking about playing WoW again recently. People are way too obsessed with Warcraft logs. It's so Stop dumb. The on sheep. I think the best thing that Blizzard could do for the game is disable every add-on in the game completely with no restrictions on that. Like, literally disable every single add-on and every API reader in the game. I think that they've completely ruined the game. But quality of life? Good. Expect Blizzard to do it. Literally disable every single add-on. Damage meters, um, healing meters, uh, like buff, like, you know, allocation. Disable everything. More on Dragon. They'll never do that? Uh, why not? They should. You know what they should do? They should announce that they're doing it after the next expansion. They should be like, hey, this is the last expansion you're going to do with add-ons. After that, no. No more. They should announce it like a year ahead. A year ahead of time. What about macros? Severely limit the amount of interactions that macros can have. Like, massively limit it. Lesson dragon. Care dragon. Care dragon. Cheap, 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 cheap. I think that basically, cheap. like, um... What ends up examples? Uh, examples oh, of what? Like add ons that are like too powerful? Uh, I think Peekaboo made a video recently about that. Come on. Oh, well, I guess they have to die all at the same time or something. Well like that. played. Uh, there's no way, dude. Yeah. Whatever. We had a good run, though. We got, we, we killed five. All right, we're going with the Shadow Priest healing. The game would revert to whoever dies gets kicked. I I'll explain at the end of this why WoW is this this way. Because it's actually very well simple try. why the game works this way. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, and it's easy to understand why it happens All once right. you once you look at like how the systems you guys have in the game work. Twenty five DPS. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that we don't do any damage. Honestly, guys, I just wanted to get to level forty and enter Nomer and try to get like you know try to like leech an item or two. And I feel like we've done you know we did pretty good. We got shoulders. That's we good. Got the weapon, which is nice. But I don't thirty nine DPS. More that's a lot. I don't think we're killing this boss. Which is a fucking shame. This animal is getting added to the... Uh, Why not? Shit just kill him. Name. Why didn't he just kill the boss? He's definitely going to add to the shit list. This is the boss we needed, man. 
Yeah, I actually kind of want to see the fight. I really wanted to try to get the, the the crossbow. Oh. But yeah, apparently we're trying to nine man this now without a healer. So we have a mage Who cares? solo Just don't healing die. this with a shadow priest. And as you can see, our rogue tank is taking the biggest cock of his career. So the warlock tank has to like absorb those bombs or something? No, honestly, this rogue tank is not bad. Ooh. Oh, is this like um a Nubricon? Like You can For work the tank. with it, you know? Hunter Zoom already? DPS, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, Four bosses are a joke, more or less, yeah. Just look at the state of our DPS, dude. Look how fucking bad we are. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, you just do the mechanics right. Fucking, these are some gray logs right now. Okay. This doesn't really seem that bad at all, actually. Yeah, They're this is fine. High. If they think we're even making it to phase two, man. DPS doesn't matter as much in this fight. We'll just get out of the fire. That's a lot of bombs, to be fair. That is a lot of bombs. Jesus, that's a lot of bombs. That's an ass load of bombs. Boys. It was a last minute run. I think we had the last boss with a few more tries. Yeah. Like, yeah, for what this was. At the beginning of the video, he's like, people are way too sweaty and restrictive, and then they end up being unable to finish the raid. This is why people are selective. Yeah. Oh, I'll explain it was why. Nice. Yeah. I had a good time. Good job, guys. GG's. And also, Thanks by the way, I'm sure raiding. some of the sweaty raids also don't kill all the bosses. Not even on comms. We should all feel great. Thanks for letting me get the last minute raid lock out then. Yeah, let's be honest. Sweaty people are bad too. Friendly. Yeah, exactly. Good run. Can't they just go again? Yeah, but really they've probably been in no there comms. for like hours. Yeah. At least we got some XP. Good night. There it is. All right. It was a fun time. Honestly, it was nice. Such nice guys. At least they're not mad. Now, it dragged on a little bit late, and we didn't have enough time to uh, uh, get yeah. more than, what, like two pulls on the last boss or three pulls or whatever, but um, we, we cleared Menagerie on, what, like second or third try. It was, like, good. Uh, and in general, like, we had a good time. And in general, even if, even if we killed three bosses uh -huh. or one boss even, the fact that people respond like this when you're done... It's like, it's a shame we had it if he didn't leave. Well, they're probably just happy uh, that they're there. It was good. Thank you for coming. It was incredibly nice. Yeah, they're just happy they we got invited, man. We should feel great. Thanks for letting me get my last minute raid lockout. Thanks for being noob friendly, you know? Like there it is. Just actually uh, Normal people. getting to play the fucking game. And uh, the raid leader not being anal about, you know, your rogue, like your main tank being a rogue or whatever. It's just like, yeah, it's just nice. It's just nice. I, I'd rather do that, honestly. I'd rather do that. Is Milkman still online? What the fuck? How many people are naming their characters Milk? Yeah, he's in Nomregon. They're probably all Torin too. Should I link him the epic gun? <laughs> <laughs> Should I link him the epic gun and pretend we just got it? Just fucking BM it? <laughs> Should we? Old school MMO gaming. <laughs> Dang. Guess uh, it was lucky I didn't join your group. <laughs> uh, no, I guess it was lucky you didn't invite me. Oh, bro. So are you guys still not done? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> the fucking pettiness. Dude. No, he's just trying so to ask. Funny. He's just asking a question. <laughs> But yeah. the fact, they're still in Nomer, dude. We're done. It's a long time ago. Yeah, you guys are still doing that? I made like, what a do you group, mean? cleared it, got all the loot, and yeah. got out of there. These guys are still in there. These uh, log-checking Andes. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> all right, boys. So I, I got I to gotta talk about this, right? Because I actually think that... <laughs> So, number one, if I was in Zico's group, I would have considered that group a failure because I didn't kill the last boss. Because I 
would be there to get the loot from the last boss. And if I didn't kill the last boss, I would be fucking furious. Like, that's number one. Like, I would be fucking mad. We didn't kill it. And now I'm stuck. So l let me go ahead. Let me explain to you guys why Season of Discovery has these problems. Uh, that's all the other ones. Let me just open up a new one. Um, okay. Um, why Sod has problems with... Uh, what do you call it? Why has Sod... With, with making raids, like, uh... Why Sod raiding has problems. Okay, there we go. Number one, raid IDs. Uh, why do they exist? Uh, number two. Uh, do you have to run back to the instance? Yeah, like, do you have to run back to the instance whenever you go and, um... Oops, I never accepted a quest. I'm an idiot. Yes, you do. It's close. It's a very short run. Yeah, but you do have to run all the way back. Okay, so it's not as bad, but it's still there. Okay. Um, so run backs probably aren't that bad. Uh, I, like, well, in general, wipe recovery. Uh, wipe recovery takes longer to uh, come back. It's very, very simple, right? You, you, you have to do teleporters, but you still have to do all of those things. You have to rebuff. You uh, use an elixir and you die. Now you have to use another elixir. That's it. And so, like, yeah, there's all these all these things that are happening at the same time. Every wipe is a minus ten minutes. Yes, exactly. Um, people leave. Um, can you summon inside of dungeons in Season of Discovery? There are a few of these things I'm not sure of. Hmm. You can't summon inside dungeon. Uh, making inviting new players more annoying. Harder. So there's that. Um, let's see here. And so raid buff. Yeah, raid world buff lost. Yeah, you actually can summon a gnomer. Let me see here. Uh, it's difficult. Not all groups have a warlock. Exactly. I think that they should give another class summoning abilities in Season of Discovery. I think only having Warlocks that can summon... It is such a massive quality of life that not having it is just extremely annoying, and they should at least give it to one more class. I personally think that Warriors should be able to put down a War Banner and summon. I think Warriors should be able to summon. That's my opinion. You know, summon through a War Banner. Uh, I, I, I could be wrong, you know? that that that's That's just what I think. I'm biased. I'm very biased, but that's it. So, basically, like, what I'm saying is that the reason why Season of Discovery has these problems is because Blizzard has designed the game in a way that creates these problems. So, Blizzard has allowed players to use Warcraft logs and have API readers and these DPS meters in the game. And what these meters do is they tell players that you have to play the game in a certain way. Because if you're not playing the game in that certain way, then you're massively putting yourself at a disadvantage. Because the truth is, Zico didn't clear the raid, and if you look at the amount of time that he spent inside of the raid, wait. right, it was a two-hour raid. Oh, wait, longer. It was a two-and-one-half-hour raid. Like, whenever you look at the last boss attempt, because it says 10-13, and then the last boss, it's a two-and-a-half-hour raid. And that's not including the other one. So why would somebody want to join a two and a half hour raid if they're geared enough to join a raid that's going to clear in one hour? And they're going to kill the last boss. Why would they want to do that? So that's really what happens. Is that... And also another reason... Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to add this one. Uh, no um, group finder. Have to rely... On trade, friends, uh, add-on. And I think that relying on friends is fine. But having to spam trade chat or using an add-on is fucking stupid. So, yeah. And uh, what's this here? You can't change the human condition is number one. Raid IDs, why do they exist? People would just leave after the kill they needed. They have to restart the recruiting process over again. You can't change human condition in number one. Raid IDs, why do they exist? People would just leave after they get the kill. They kill the boss they need. 
Well, why wouldn't... Wait, wait a second. So, I'm not sure if I understand this. Why wouldn't they just do that with raid IDs? How do raid IDs prevent this? Because, like, for example, if, if like, let's say there's a six-boss raid, and the fourth boss drops an item I need, and I don't need the fifth and the sixth boss, why wouldn't I just leave after the fourth boss? How does that stop me from leaving? Hold on, let me explain it better. Sure. Didn't you say that Group Finder hurt the social aspect of WoW in the first place? I said LFD and LFR did, not the Group Finder. So, like, uh, looking for dungeon and looking for raid is different than a manual Group Finder. A manual Group Finder is good, an automatic Group Finder is bad. Pretty simple. Need a better design than raid lockouts? Yeah. Well, let me let me let him explain himself. It needs to be harder uh, to ragtag guilds after your initial raid, or nobody will want to full clear the initial one. Not nobody. Well, let me see what, what the rest of this is, right? And uh, raid finder like Wrath of Lich King? Yeah, yeah, that was, that's what was bad. Classic WoW incentivizes you to play with the same people. Um... Yes, it does. That's true. Is that bad or is that good? Like, I, I, I'm not sure what. So in Retail WoW, there are people that are locked into a boss. In Retail WoW, people are locked into a boss. True. Okay. GDKP incentivizes you to play till the end. THD lock with another hot take that is completely true and absolutely accurate. You are 100% right, and that's one of the best things about GDKP. Do you remember back when we didn't have GDKP back in Wrath? And, like, the moment that the twin Valkyrs would die in Trial of the Crusader, everybody would leave because nobody wanted to do a new Barak, And they were just waiting for the trinket. And then as soon as GDKP happened, everybody stayed and killed the last boss. Like, all the melee left, and all the casters got mad. Because the casters needed the next boss. Hold on, I'm still explaining it's long? That's fine, don't worry about it. GDKP also incentivizes people to join pugs midway through, though. Yeah, exactly. So, like, again, the reason why Season of Discovery has so many problems is because of the design of the game and the fundamental uh, decisions that Blizzard has made, such as making people have raid lockouts, such as making uh, runbacks and recovery from bosses and wipes take longer, such as uh, making the fights hard. Uh, the harder you make the fights, the more people are going to be gatekeeping. That's just what happens. Um, let's see. Besides that, um, I, well, I think those are the main things. That's why you need raid participation points. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, that, that's something that, like, guilds can figure out. Are you suggesting the raid ID change to an individual personal boss lockout? Um... Now, once they kill the boss they needed, a person would just leave. Then the whole recruiting process... Of finding another person happens again. How do raid lockouts solve that problem? So what they should do. This is how I think that they should handle raid lockouts. They should handle raid lockouts. That you can only join a raid. At the equivalent or advanced progress. Than bosses that you've already killed. So for example. If, you jo if you've killed two bosses in a raid. And... Like, because the bosses are, 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 um, this, this makes it more complicated whenever the bosses are not, uh, you know, like one after another, and you can do them at like whatever order you want, but assuming that they are all chronological, right? You have to do one, then two, then three linear. Yeah, better. It's linear. That, that's the word I'm thinking of. So you should only be able to join raids that have the exact same progression as you or further progression as you. You should not be able to join a raid that you're not, that you're, that you've already killed the boss that week. So, like, you should never be able to kill the same boss two times in the week, but you should be able to join another raid and kill bosses that you haven't killed. He said something? Okay, let me explain it. Raid lockouts do not solve the problem. My understanding is that you said earlier there should be loot lockouts. Am I correct? No. So, you're thinking of two different things. Okay, so you have raid IDs. You have raid lockouts. And then you have loot lockouts. Okay, so all three of these things are the same. Or, sorry, are different. Excuse me. So, a raid ID is... You are locked to a specific raid. Uh, 
uh, specific raid group ID. Um, uh, this one is you are locked to a specific um, boss uh, kill. Uh, two, sp two specific bosses, actually. And then loot lockouts. You are locked from receiving loot from specific bosses you have already killed. So all three of these things are separate. So a raid ID is where you are locked to a specific boss with a specific group. A raid lockout is where you are only locked to a specific boss. And a loot lockout is where you are not locked to any boss, but you can only receive loot from, from a boss that you have not killed. So right now, this is what Classic WoW is doing. I don't think that they should go to this. I think they should go to this. The reason why loot lockouts are problematic is because I do think people will start uh, doing like carry runs. Why? I think people will just like spam carry runs and it will just fuck up retail. It will fuck up classic WoW in the same way that retail WoW has been fucked up. And uh, I think it will have a negative effect on the community of the game. Yeah. Uh, now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That's fine. But I think that this is where they should start. And if they feel like loot lockouts would be better, then maybe they should experiment with that. The same as they're experimenting with GTKP. However, I do think that they should start with this. There's still going to be gatekeeping like in Lost Ark. There will be a lot less gatekeeping the less that you get punished. There was a lot less gatekeeping whenever Vicus came out in Lost Ark. How many of you guys had the same experience? That whenever Vicus came out, the amount of like, uh, like that was whenever they really started like ex expecting you to have Light of Salvation. That's whenever they really started to like grill you in terms of like your experience and shit. Because people would invite almost anyone to, uh, to to Valton, right? If you had the item level for it, or Argus. But the reason why Vicus did the reason why Vicus was different is because Vicus was super fucking punishing. And if you had one person make a mistake with one mechanic, everybody in the raid died. That's the reason why it happened. Everyone wanted to make perfect comps for Vicus. Yeah, that's the way the game works. So does that make sense with like the the way I wanted I wanted to have it happen? Yeah, just OG. Do, do you see kind of like where my perspective is? Do you not think that fourteen had a good system? Farm the raid as much as you want, but you can only receive one item from one boss per lockout. Uh, I don't know. Like I I think that like there's different advantages to each system, but this is what I want to see them do. That's basically what it comes down to. Yeah, it, that's that's literally it. I want to see them do this. And all I'm saying, my point that I'm making with this whole this whole topic is that every single problem in our sense makes think about number three does not work for sure. Well, it does work for retail wow. It does. It does work, but it causes other problems. But yeah, I think that they should do number two. Raid IDs are antiquated. Vicus was easier than Valton. The mechanics were easy to understand. Valton could just throw you out of the arena sometimes without any pattern. Valton could throw you out of the arena sometimes without any pattern. That is not true. If that if that was true, then nobody would have that. Yeah, that that's probably the most not true thing I've ever heard. Valton has no group light mechanics. Yeah, exactly. And so anyway, uh, this is really the way that I see it. And w the reason why Season of Discovery has this many problems is because Blizzard has engineered it to have this many problems. I don't know why I'm not stuck to Zico. Make sure to give the video a like if you liked it. Yeah, it was so good.